Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, of my 7A life science class. Uh, we are now in Chapter 3, Section 8. Uh, last time we talked about incomplete and co-dominance. Incomplete dominance is when there is not a true, they kind of blend together. So here's your example. Here is this pink flower. That is when you have a red gene and a white gene and you get pink. So some of the reds blended in, some of the white is blended in. We get these pink key plants. All right, today we're going to talk about gender and humans and let's get started in homework 8081 and you'll have review 81 in there um gender is determined by the 23rd pair we have 46 chromosomes 46 chromosomes equals 23 pairs you get a pair because you get one of each number from mom one from dad we talked about meiosis meiosis is the splitting of body cells into six sex cells that have half the usual number of chromosomes. Now, girls always have an X and an X because all eggs have an X cell. Girls have X or X as their chromosomes in that final pair. Now, men, on the other hand, have an X or a Y. All babies come from an egg and a sperm that's fertilized. The egg cells always have an X. If the egg cell receives a sperm that has an X chromosome, the baby will be a girl because it will have two X's. If the X egg is fertilized with a Y sperm, it will be a boy because it'll be XY, which makes a boy. Since the male sperm determines the sex of the offspring, it has nothing to do with the egg cells. And you can't pick. Now, what it does determine is if it's a Y sperm, it's a boy. If it's an X sperm, it's a girl. If you are XX, you are a girl. If you are XY, you are a boy. The mother only has X chromosomes. So because you have two Xs, you either give an X or you give an X. So every single egg cell that the mother produces has an X chromosome. When that meiosis causes that splitting, so you go from a diploid cell having two copies of every chromosome, to a haploid cell having only one copy, no matter what happens, that egg cell has an X chromosome. Now, during meiosis, we go through that second round of division, and that ends up with two X chromosomes sperm and two Y chromosome sperms. That combining of X and X, or X and Y, is what makes boys versus girls. Now, an interesting story about the egg cells in all women. So, while you girls were being carried by your mother in utero, meaning in the uterus while in the womb, there were cells inside of you girls that will become the egg cells. You have only so many egg cells, and eventually you run out of egg cells. In fact, it happens in the late 40s for most women. So for a period of time, your mother, girls, was not only carrying you, but she was carrying the cells in your ovaries inside of her that will eventually become her grandchildren all right so if we recap gender is boy or girl if you have xx you got an x from mom and an x from dad you're a girl guys if you are an x and a y you got an x from mom and a y from dad all right i'm mr hescox you guys be good be safe Make sure you get your homework done, that review of page 18. I'll catch you next time.